Hello everyone, I am Bhaskar Thakuria and today we will be talking about Thingadwar. Ask me this book and uh, I am uh, talking to you in English. So what uh, might be the reason? The reason is uh, 2015 and now the second edition uh, is almost on the way and it is in the market in Asmis and English translation is being done and soon we might see the English version of the book. I'm talking to you in English uh, the, because many of my friends and many of my reader friends are only able to read in English and many of them don't even understand Asmis but they also wanted to know about the book hence this video. This book was released in 2015. It's a chronicle of parallel stories uh, knitted into Asmi's novel. I'll be talking about a Russian artist, Nicholas Rorik. is way too famous all over the world and his uh, impact on the philosophy of this book, uh, which is Singh Adwar, the name of the book, and it's a chronicle of parallel stories knitted into an Asami's novel. And this lecture is all about how the artist or philosopher Nicholas Rorick's philosophy and painting can has impacted the philosophy of the book and also philosophy of the characters. The journey of my writing started way back in 90s when I started to write play and short stories and first book of mine is named Jatra this is the cover page and it was though it was uh, published in 2009 uh, it is a compilation of creative fiction or short stories uh, to be precise uh, written over 1999 to 2009 uh, this was a though it was a creative fiction it has lot of graphic narrative and most of them dealt with the problem of the youths like uh, joblessness or drug addiction or the conflict with the older generation and uh, everything was uh, designated by many these are the lost generation with no hope. Uh, I'm talking about the youth of 90s. And though the book uh, Jatra was dealing with uh, this, but uh, parallelly, uh, many people say that it has only the male egos and male problem and it doesn't deal with the female problem. It was not like that I am only a uh, male chauvinistic pig and without having any female empathy toward female psyche uh, besides writing the stories for the my book of jatra which are mainly male centric parallelly i was also working on a character named parinisha who happened to be a doctor also a painter like me uh, i'm not a painter but uh, i write i've been writing since last 30 years that story explored the mind of a female name uh, that was names heart or or in, if we translate it into English it can be named as enigma it was a one-time story and I thought uh, it was uh, over by that first story but uh, the characters of that story slowly started evolving and parallelly i was also working on each and in every problem of each and every individual that appeared in the story and gradually they turned out to be a series of parallel stories and everyone has one problem that something is missing from their life and this uh, in order to find that something the story progressed just like uh, our railway slippers which goes on and on and on but they never meet and all while doing so i had the problem with each and every word and their meaning i was using in my story i was uh, all my characters were trapped in pain and uh, it was also not a very 
pleasurable experience uh, for me also so i thought that as many of these character deals with art and art is a beautiful thing so i thought that i will find answer to this story in art history now i am professionally i am a doctor a microbiologist and uh, i am not officially trained in uh, art and art history so i went on reading and reading and reading uh, even though uh, i am not a professionally trained art critic or artist uh, and i decided that i will fictionalize the individual spirit of one part of the art history uh, i choose or the story choose to get uh, fictionalized the ethos of impressionism dadaism and surrealism which are three important part of uh, western art history so this was a painting uh, done by one of my friend uh, who happened to be a psychiatrist uh, and i saw it in his room and once i saw it uh, i decided that yes this has some story behind it so i explored the story behind it and that became the fictionalization story of uh, impressionism the pain did not end it out there so stories evolved so i wanted to express those uh, pain of the characters through fictionalizing uh, another part of important art history that is dadaism we have uh, our generation in assam i i, uh, I have i was born and brought up in assam and we have seen what happened in uh, northeast in 80s and 90s and it was a very turbulent past and uh, people working in art uh, there are two school of thought as always uh, one was pure art and uh, second is uh, the social art uh, who are influenced by what is happening in the society so this past present and this conflict between pure art and should uh, what is happening in the society come up uh, in uh, your artistic expression uh, became a montage of fact fiction and the ghost from the past and it was uh, it is uh, expressed or uh, it was digitalized by one of my artist friend dr udip uh, into a photographic montage which uh, depict waiting waiting eternal waiting of a good time for in the area called northeast and everything that can be purged out through that installation that uh, become the picture of that eyes uh, but the pain didn't go away so everything was becoming too surreal and pain of my characters were too big uh, becoming too big so so i wanted or the characters wanted some relief from their pain and then comes uh, surrealism where uh, i found one of the poet famous poet uh, octavio paz's few picture like poetry as you can see in the right side out here uh, he named them to poema Uh, something artistic something poetic uh, written or drawn by him way back in uh, last century and one of my character while trying to deciphering drawn something similar to that uh, to poem uh, and he was trying to escape from all of his pain tanukandan when the source for the truth honked the sign for the truth high motor the balance he wanted but not getting hot tahinota the the existence less feeling the vacuum that he was feeling and everything was alike which were brought down by hodrick 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 means alike 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 uh, it is something similar to and or inspired by to poema created by octavio paz uh, way back in last century the protagonist of the story who happened to be in so much pain where while trying to find the exact 
truth which actually doesn't exist or if it exists it is something very surreal so that was the uh, main content of this uh, of that story surrealism and at the end of the story uh, he escaped uh, from mental asylum but uh, the character's pain uh, didn't go away at that time uh, uh, as i was writing this uh, chronicle from 2000 to 2013 it's been 13 years a few characters were haunting me from time to time while the pain of the jatra or the lost generation uh, were getting bitter and bitter with time as we entered this millennium the time was changing uh, very fast and i was at lost my characters were at lost and uh, at that time i was totally at lost. And this man, Nicholas Rorik, born in 1874 uh, in Russia, and he painted and painted and painted uh, more than 3,000 or 4,000 painting and lived and died in India, uh, in Himachal Pradesh, Nagar. And people <coughs> of Nagar still remember him as Maharshi or in person with uh, a great divine uh, rishi uh, and he is a very well known he and his son uh, a, are a very well known painter and <coughs> philosopher in artistic fraternity of india but uh, he is uh, not uh, getting the, the hype uh, that is needed just like uh, other painters of uh, last century which who are much much more remembered than Nicholas Rorick but he has his own fan following and own follower even today uh, one of them happened to be me I am following his footsteps and I am following his painting since since I discovered him uh, I discovered him I am telling you I am discovered him because actually I thought that uh, Nicholas Rorick is the name of a painting not a painter Nicholas Rorick's few of his paintings are this uh, beautiful painting, uh, one of my favorite, these two, where he explored the change of season in the brisk. He is known for his vibrant color and painting of Himalayas, but he has thousands of other uh, painting also way back in uh, America and uh, Russia. So Nicholas Rorick uh, was a Russian and he fly away from russia to europe then settled in india and lived in india for around 40 years he was a very famous painter at his time also and at uh, in the year 2020 to 2023 he went to america united states and uh, it was a time of uh, just after first world war the youth were returning home after fighting the ghastly world of first world war and every at that time america was getting prosperous those <coughs> youth were almost <coughs> nihilistic and uh, depressed and appetite what they had seen in the war had let them down so that is why this uh, word that i have been uh, chronically using uh, in this lecture the lost generation actually it's a word uh, given by ernest hemingway uh, used by Ernest Hemingway in, way in one of his writing and which got a lot of popular and uh, people call that uh, young generation who came back uh, from war uh, as the lost generation. So uh, Nicholas Rorick went to America at uh, 1920 to 1923 and at that time uh, even though America was doing well there was some red scare whenever people named Russia. So he decided but he was way too famous in America also. So uh, he wanted to share the brighter better and spiritual part of uh, Russia to America and he wanted to give some message uh, to the Americans of that time. So he chose a series of painting which he named as Sankta, which become later become one of my key messages in my book, Hinga Dwar also. This Sankta means, uh, so uh, I'll be telling you uh, what is Sankta or what is Nicholas Rorick's Sankta. So Sankta means holy, 
and uh, it was his uh, Nicholas Rorick's message to America uh, and he draw six painting with six team and all of them were uh, connected together by <coughs> one sentence and we uh, we will see does it mean in next slide and all of them carry messages uh, from uh, Sirius Sandowski which is a Russian scene from 1200 century uh, Russia so first of the painting this uh, is and we open the gate this turned out to be cover page of my book uh, King Odoar. Actually, I, I was just telling that uh, how uh, I thought Nicholas Rorick to be a name of a painting because uh, I have been brought up in Assam and in Assam, uh, Devakanta Urborua, known famous poet. He is famous uh, as politician also, but uh, people in Assam remember his uh, poetry much, much more than his political career. He wrote a poem in 1946 uh, which uh, goes like this mur mazot ekon soki ase nicolas rorikor tar nam tar nam ami duar mokoli koru so that poetry says that uh, my ta uh, my table has a painting its name nicolas rorik's and we open the door so <coughs> i interpreted that sentence uh, without knowing that um, my chair has painting Nicholas Rorick's its name. So I thought because of that, that Nicholas Rorick is the name of a painting. Later on, way after in uh, 2005 or six, when I was uh, searching for Nicholas Rorick's painting and I found this, then I got to know that yes, the line should be translated into in English like this. I have a painting in my table, its name, is uh, Nicholas Rorick's and we open the gate as you can see uh, what he uh, what now let us come back to Nicholas Rorick's message uh, through Sancta and what he wanted to speak uh, through this painting now this uh, series Nicholas Rorick's museum in St. Petersburg uh, Russia so as we can see that there is a door and a priest is opening the door and on this side of the painting there is a darkness is glooming out but on the other side we see a bright sunlight. light and this uh, saint is while opening the door inviting bright light to come in through this painting people say that rorick asks the american uh, to become more open to the world what is happening in the world because at that time a uh, few people were uh, telling america that as we remain secluded it's better that we deal with our problem not with the world's problem so through this painting uh, rorick's wanted to explore uh, or say to the Americans that let us open our door or not to the Americans but to the whole country or uh, the whole humanity because we should still open our door and as we can see that all these painting or messages were connected together with an opening words and we the first said and we open the gate we should open our gate to open this the second painting is and we continue to fish which says uh, we can see that sun is going down in a, a sea and few fishermen are fishing the sea is not that uh, cool there is turbulence in the ocean and three men together are fishing now their balance is very vital if they lose any one of them lose balance boat will tumble down so there is a need for collaboration now, this collaboration uh, he uh, asked that uh, american or people or humanity should uh, collaborate with each other not axingly then tumble down from a turbulent ship third painting and we bring light uh, we can see that there is darkness in the picture it's a old church and darkness is looming out and we can see that priests are coming out of the from the darkness uh, of the chairs with holding small lamp in their house in their hand 
to outside world through this he actually asks the people to serve humanity which was one of the original uh, masses of uh, Sergius Androsky and the next uh, painting as it sancta so we have discussed three the next painting is and we are not afraid uh, out here we can see that uh, the sky is looking violet and there are two priests facing each other and a wild bear coming to their coming close to themselves so now it is a time of conflict of generation the new generation and the old generation uh, many times come for some confrontation and out here the younger priests and the older priests are facing each other with a threat approaching them out here uh, nicholas rorick asked people not to be afraid and worked in collaboration so that all the threat that comes should be confronted and next is a bright picture yellow bright picture Nicholas Rorick asks the people of uh, America or uh, humanity not to give up doing labor because we can uh, he saw that in 20s uh, many of the Americans were get too materialistic and they are giving up uh, physical labor uh, which is happening even today or all the things that he saw in 20s America are coming back even today and this uh, dislike for physical work he addressed as we can see that there are priests coming far far away just to fetch water and they are not afraid or they are liking their uh, work of physical level and what he saw there was uh, lack of spirituality in uh, modern generation people started for uh, forgetting what spirituality is and uh, many people got confused between what is spirituality and what is religion which is happening even today so he asked the people to go for the inner spirituality so that they can discover themselves to become religious fanatic so these are the six pictures uh, which uh, nicholas rorix displayed in uh, america uh, in chicago city and it was an instant hit at that time how nicholas rorix and his sangta come to my book while doing so since uh, 2000 to 2010 or 2013 i was very much hopeless and all the all of my characters that uh, i had created were uh, the various pressure which became a pressure on me i wanted some relief from this uh, pain uh, they were searching for meaning of something that uh, was not defined or that was ill defined so this man nicholas rorix and his sancta come to my conclusion his sancta give birth to my sancta or some senses to my character from where they could reconcile with themselves so my first uh, solution or one of my character solution was uh, this painting again it's a nicolas so called nicolas rorix painting because i found it in wiki painting then when i asked uh, the curator of the museum uh, new york uh, then they did not recognize it as uh, nicolas rorix then when i asked wiki painting what is the source of info then this painting disappeared uh, for from wiki painting for around one year and then it came back so i don't know whether it is actually nicholas rorick's painting or not but one of my artist friend dr apurv rajwangsi he got inspired by this boy's vision and looking at the sky this painting is named as in conversation with god one of my character who was wandering around meaning for something one day sat down and watching the bright sky with stars and he found some answer to in his conversation with with god and the same thing happened to us also many time we have failed it's been a three month four month we don't see at the sky which is actually relaxing two of my characters were childish and once they could see the touch of a baby child the divine feeling of uh, that uh, soft skin of a newborn baby it's opened their origin of pain 
for many years. So one of my characters, though he was able to see, but he was seeing, seeing everyone mechanically. One lady who was uh, old and very rough and tough and arrogant to the other people. When he started to see her with a different perspective, he saw that this woman is almost like Holy Mother or his mother. This is one of the common local flower called Togol. One of the characters, while smelling the lost smell of a about to instinct flower from Asmi's village, rediscovered something that has been missing from his life since uh, 20 years. Everything was happening uh, graphically. So I thought, uh, why not uh, a graphic uh, representation also? So my friend Dr. Udip, who has been collaborating with many of the paintings which are there in the book, came up with uh, this graphically. The character discovered taste of water from his village, which happened to be um, near a sea. The salty taste, which we have almost forgotten because thanks to the RO water, we have been constantly using over the uh, last few years. So uh, many of the characters were coming back to some form of normalcy through the senses like uh, touch, seeing, hearing, smelling, uh, but still something missing, the problem of something missing was uh, going on. And this painting with its message came to my rescue. So even though we come back to our senses, we still need to open our door to the new ideas, to the new world, to the new horizon. As we see in this picture, the lush green, um, bright green hills with lots of sunshine. That's how this book culminated in 2015. And the rest is history because uh, many people are still not able to grip uh, what this book is all about and many people are liking it also so thank you very much uh, if you are happy with uh, my exploration then uh, you can always give comments so that we can interact later on thank you everyone